how to access online items in MinorQuest. In MinorQuest, you're able to access most of the UTEP library's electronic resources, which include articles, electronic books, videos, and audio files. Here's an example search in MinorQuest using climate change and pollution as search terms. If you'd like to only look at electronic sources instead of physical resources, scroll down to where it says filter by source type and then click on show more. And from there, you'll be able to choose whether you want ebooks, articles, or streaming video. For most ebooks and articles, you will see a PDF full text link. Click here to view the entire book or article. While you can print the entire article, you're only able to print certain pages and chapters of an ebook, depending on its size and limits the publisher may have put on it. Also, there are some ebooks that only allow a limited number of users. So if you're trying to access an ebook and it says it's unavailable, you can wait for it to become available again, or you can look for another similar ebook. Sometimes you may see a link that says HTML full text for ebooks or articles. Clicking this will also give you full text access. For videos, audio recordings, and some ebooks, you'll commonly see a link that says to access this resource. Click on that link and you should have full access. Now, occasionally you may come across an item that says full text finder instead of giving you a PDF full text link. Now, what this means is that the full text of this article isn't in MinorQuest. However, if you click on full text finder, this tool is going to search through all of our other databases to see if we have the full text somewhere else. For this particular article, we do have the full text in the Wall Street Journal database. Clicking on that will take me to the full text article. Now, what if you find an item that has the full text finder link, but the library doesn't have access to the article? It's going to look something like this. Instead of giving you a link to an external database, it's going to give you a link to request this item through interlibrary loan. If you click on this link, you'll be taken to an interlibrary loan form. Fill out the form and you should receive the article via email in one to two days. For more information, please see our interlibrary loan tutorial video. If you like the results that you find in MinorQuest and would like to view them later, without having to remember what search terms you typed in or what filters you used, you can save the search. On the results page near the top right, click on share, and then copy and paste the permalink. Once you have the permalink, you can copy and paste it into a browser later, and you'll be able to see all of your results with the search terms and filters intact. If you are having difficulties accessing online materials, or if you have any other questions, please contact us.